have some advice for you people. Some advice that I hope brings you more joy in your life. Maintain a humorous perspective about things. Laugh when things hurt. Here's the thing. Here's, it, life gives you an ultimatum when things suck. Laugh about them or cry about them. These are your choices. You can sob and sorrow, lament and wail, or you can chuckle at the ridiculousness of these terrible things happening to you and laugh a little at yourself in the universe. It still hurts, don't get me wrong. It still hurts whatever happened, but wailing, crying, beating your chest and pulling your hair does nothing to fix the issue. That's the big problem. Laughing at the very least. Well, sure, laughing doesn't really fix it either, right? But no, laughing helps you feel better. Laughing is healing. Laughing is joy. When you can honestly let out a laugh about even the worst things that happen to you, no matter how you feel about them, you can, at that moment, back up from your own perspective a little bit. Laugh at the universe and its circumstances. Laugh at how things went beyond you as a being, beyond all of that. And it can not only help you feel a little better as laughter, you know, stimulates endorphins. Laughter is basically a drug for your brain. So quite literally, you feel a little better from the endorphin release. It's sort of taking the idea behind, you can look at the events later in life and laugh at them, that idea. It's taking that principle and applying it to the immediacy, the now. Why can't you look at the things with that perspective now and laugh at them? Now, I will note that that is harder than looking at it 10 years down the road and laughing, a lot harder. But that does not change the power that it has. In fact, that is what makes it more powerful, that difficulty. You must overcome the impact those events have had on you, the sorrow they have etched into you. You must overcome them at least a little bit to let out that first chuckle, to, <laughs> to laugh, you know, just to let it out. You have to overcome a part of that, and that overcoming is a first step in healing. It is a first step in truly getting over the events that have driven you to this point. Now, I don't want to diminish the importance of expressing sorrow, of crying when the time is right. What I want to address is the point of crying all the time. You have to let go at some point. It is healthy to wail and lament sometimes, especially for a severe tragedy. But you can't always wail and lament. There, you have to heal. And one of the best bridges towards this first step of acceptance is laughter. Learning to step beyond the moment and the immediacy and laugh at the totality. Stop seeing the trees and see the forest for a moment. It is, again, I've said it several times, but it bears repeating. It is difficult to do this. This is not an easy thing. But it also bears repeating that that is what makes it so powerful. The ability to overcome that immediate sorrow is what makes that laughter so much more powerful and healing. You already overcame something to get there. What else can't you do? Well, at that point, you can overcome the whole issue, can't you? Just one laugh at a time, one step. You already went that far. And even removing sadness from the picture. A bland day can be made a little better by a chuckle at just how bland it is. Oh, my day, it's just... SSDD. Well, isn't that kind of funny? Well, you know, you can chuckle at almost anything a little bit. Appreciate the humor of even a dreary situation, a dull situation, or as noted, a terrible one. Laughter is good. Laughter is joy. Just something to think about.